Okay, so happy Turkey Day to all of my American friends here. Yes, we are actually working today and I'm gonna go get stuffed later, but uh, check this out. We're right in the middle of reviewing the HTP Pro Pulse 200 and some sort of random snafu in my settings on one of the programs allowed uh, the basically the wire to draw back so far and create a huge arc that I could actually see the uh, droplets of uh, wire as they're being vaporized blow out into the puddle. It was the most amazing thing to see with my eyes, but we decided to swing the camera around and capture it on video. Now I'm going to show you or explain what all of that means, but you've got to see this footage first. Check this stuff out. Now to really understand what you were just seeing and why that's so awesome is to understand the difference between spray transfer and short circuit MIG, which short circuit is the you know crackly bacon that everybody really knows, but spray transfer is a little bit different. And there was one unique factor in this one that caused us uh, to be able to actually see it. Now in short circuit MIG, what happens is the wire comes out, makes contact with the work, burns it back a little bit, and the wire keeps on spitting out over and over again. So as you know, very rapidly, it literally burns back deposits, burns back deposits, burns back deposits. It has to actually make contact with the actual uh, uh, base metal in the work itself for it to deposit metal. Now in spray transfer, kind of the dumbed down version here on it, is the uh, the arc and the uh, you know energy is so powerful on that one that it kind of burns up midstream and, and uh, vaporizes the wire into little tiny droplets which gets propelled down into the work and uh, makes, you know, deposits it down in there. So that's basically the process here. Now spray transfer, you normally can't actually see it with the naked eye because it's happening so so rapidly, but what was unique about this one is on the Pro Pulse 200, the high side of the pulse basically makes a bright light, and the low side of the pulse, or the background current, makes a darker light, essentially turning the uh, the arc into a bit of a strobe light. And whatever settings that I had this on, it just happened to uh, burn back a little bit too far, so I retracted the gun, got a long arc out of it, or as long as I could to sustain it, and you can actually see, because of that strobe light effect, the particles are being thrown or propelled into the work. They're basically like being suspended in mid-air. The closest analogy I can find to this is like shining a strobe light at a fan. If you get it at the right frequency, the fan will either stay still or look like it's staying still or move backwards or forwards slower, whatever the case is. It's kind of the same concept here. But that's why this footage is so cool to have captured here because you can actually physically see the little droplets being thrown into the puddle and where they land on the puddle and how all that forms and that slow motion and all the rest of that stuff is super cool. But either way, I got to get out of here. Time for some turkey. Hope you guys have a really safe weekend and all the rest of the stuff. We'll be back on to uh, regular videos, including the video review of the Pro Pulse 200 and everything else. So we'll see you guys on the next episode.